This playthrough is rated E for everyone. With the bad guy defeated, now it's time to head to Lent to find where our, uh, the mystery of this place goes. Let's see what everyone has to say. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while I'm back here with another episode of Grandia. In the last episode, we went, uh, saved Fina aboard the Grandeur, defeating General Ball. And now, now that we've beaten the bad guy and saved the world, right, now it's just time to find a Lent. But, uh... Uh, let's see what the uh, Lane Village has to offer now that we've gotten all the, the items from uh, Zil Payton. Um, by the way, yeah, we pop up in Brennan, the Brennan Plateau after falling from the Grandeur and resting with Fina. If you go back to Zil Patton, there's actually some dialogue you can unlock from people. Well, unlock is. It's there. That happens after the event. Mainly with the Moge and uh, talking to Guido. Also, a few things happened to Fina. While she was out, after she got her uh, light wings, you know, the Akarian powers, uh, she uh, possibly unlocks some new abilities. So, yeah, she can unlock a level 3 if she gets 27 fire, a uh, spell if she has the uh, water and earth, which I do. I just have to gain a level in it to activate it. And finally, the maximum spell that's level 1, but it's 99 wind and 99 water. How am I supposed to get that? Well, I'll probably have to do a bonus episode or maybe do something like right before the end of the game where I max out her stats or something like that. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're almost not expected to get unless you... You can grind your stats. It is possible. It's just uh, after a certain point, there's kind of, they're kind of not useful to do that. So well, They were all the same, huh? Perhaps that was Earthquake we were, when we were in the underground runes. Yeah, sorry about your pots, man. Uh, not everyone has new dialogue, unfortunately. Quite a few people don't, um, at least around here. However, if we go to the end, there's a new... Um, we can now rest with meals if we want to get something out of that. So, whoops. Yeah, I went through this place off screen to see who has new dialogue. So, yeah. Sure, I'll take a dinner guide. Dinner to room, Mr. Jeeves. How's everyone going? Fina, how, how's those wings? It's bad for people living here, but I feel unsafe when I'm here. I don't know why, but all I can think about is bad things. Fina, there's nothing to worry about. If you're worried, what can we do? I don't know, man. You, we defeated Ball and his army, right? So the Garlaw army is, is done for. Although, I wonder what happened to Bolin. Yeah, we get the scene to see uh, Guido actually eat and stuff like that with us. I think every time I eat it, this the food here is unbelievably hot. It's a, a true, the proper taste for Zil pattern. But it's a little too hot for outsiders. But is this a little much all right? Is this a much all right, you say? Hot enough to tear me up. Are you trying to kill me? This town is really something. There's an underground temple and so many people living here. Zil Patton hasn't existed since the Angelo period. Formerly, it was a celestial city. It has been an extremely long time since I felt uh, the town as a history. I understand, but I'm sorry, Justin. Huh, man. Just Venus shows down all the time. I think this is technically you can do this before her wings, but uh, that's why she's still technically depressed. Everyone, uh, uh, every one of these is hot. Isn't there any plain food? Do you want me to starve to death? What are you saying? You always eat everything. You're not gonna die, rap. Yeah. <laughs> quit, quit being a drama queen. This town's a secret that even we don't know about. There's a many a ruins around it. Really? Say, Guido, if we hunted around these ruins, maybe we could find a treasure. Wait a minute, Justin. I know what you're trying to say, but we'll get around to that later. Certainly, it's impossible to find it. The treasure may come in handy, but it's never been done. People have their respective roles. Now, what is it that you should do? You have to think about that. Well, now, today we sleep in. We have a few times we get meals, because a lot of times they cut you out of doing... That type of stuff, so. Alright. Uh, let's go to the Moge. They have a few dialogues there. Yeah, mostly everyone except for that one shopkeeper who talks about the earthquake has some new dialogue. Um, there might be some here now that I think about it from this guy. Yeah, we don't have the goods in stock, man. I'll, I can just make up stuff if you want. That would work. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's because of the petrification. Huh? Well, the Garl army is defeated, right? With General Ball uh, brought low by his own hubris. You know, uh, you know what else could there be? That they don't have their leader, they'd be in shambles. I guess Mullen could do something, but it seems like Mullen was not even for uh, his dad's uh, nonsense anyway, so. 
Yeah, explore everywhere. So you've got uh, into this uh, town. That makes me happy. Any place. Therefore, if you come and explore more gay places, many interesting things await to you. La 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 la. New composition, huh? Oh, that's such a sad song. Yeah, instead of a uh, rap saying something, she says that. Uh, whoops, sorry. Yeah, how do you feel that you're in a car right now, uh, Fina? Well, uh, being able to read people's future, that's the quality. Oh, well, then again, there's a lot of people that uh, straight up lie and, and tell you lies and say they can read, read your fortune. So uh, I guess you don't really need qualifications. Oh, yeah, we helped you with the eel, right? Yep. Now there, you, you would do the same for me if you ever needed anything else so you could talk to us. Yeah, we are kind until you don't have any money. Oh, right, I already talked to you. So. How about you? What do you mean? Oh, okay. Big dream, huh? The dream of all. What is the dream of all? It's hard to say. Seven Wonders? Is this like the seven ghost stories or whatever? Oh yeah, we've been there already. The Castle of Dreams? Yeah. Yeah, no, no there's nothing about that. We, we saved the curse and everything. So, yeah. Or defeated the curse, I mean. Art? Yeah, what is art? Yes, I do have sold the paintings. I have no idea what is depicted on them. Yeah, if they want to spend their money on silly things, why not? So. Rings, the bracelets, oh my. That's something good? Silas Jars? This is a person of famous mademoiselle. She is a probably a customer of the Moge. Hmm. Yeah, this will, well actually this will be a long episode, but uh, you know. Yep, I don't know what, okay. Uh, yes, it's been a longer time, uh, but uh, it's been such a waxing place here. I've been wanting to come. Yeah, you'll say that to anyone just to get their business, I bet. Yes, I can understand the feeling. It feels comfortable here, but Mogay Land is second to none. Yeah, it's awesome. If you live here. Why do you feel that way? The Mogay don't hang on to all of that. And I'm sorry you've had that suffering since you were a child, but uh, or when you were young. Yes, we don't have the time. Since you share the energy of your sister, I'm over fine. Since your sister's a queen, right? She must not like working here. No, that's good. Hire whoever. No, oh, hire all the girls. That's probably what I'd do if I owned a store. I'd be like, uh, oh, what's the uh, what? Oh, I forgot his name from Luf, uh, uh, Lunar. He hired. He just spoilers to that game. The one of the character ends up uh, hiring a bunch of ladies for his shop. You know, kind of like a certain made a certain cafes in Japan. And uh, yeah, it's pretty funny actually. I need to play that. I need to record that game one of these days. But nope, we gotta do Grandia. We actually don't have too many more episodes to. Well, I mean, we got a few episodes, but what I mean is we're in the home stretch, folks. We're 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 near there, you know. The stories have all been told, almost. Just not not quite done yet, though. Man, it's uh sad seeing it kind of all come 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 to it, you know. But we can't talk about that yet, just because you know we're not quite there. We still got quite a few episodes to go, so. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have a, a Guido say anything to this person about uh, uh, giving them medicine because of, you know, Mogay and all that, but, uh, eh. Not every character has to have dialogue, so. Okay, no, we've heard that person before. Some of these people I don't remember. I thought I checked them, and then I thought they had a different dialogue, but nope. Okay, let's go to the Mogay, and then we'll head on to Lane Village. There is some dialogue there for... Uh, I think the dialogue is slightly different after you do the events, because there is some dialogue in uh, Lane Village when you have Guido in the troop uh, group. He says to Millie, "Are you jealous that I'm with your with your friends now?" That type of thing, just to kind of mess with her. Oh, your brother came back. Oh, good, he came back from Gumbo. So I guess he didn't stay there forever. That's good. Nice to see that your family is uh, okay there. Yeah, he's going around the world. It seems like, well, not around the world, but you know, what I mean. oh, this was techniques. Okay. 
Well, he would be dead. I thought the elder is supposed to stay put and take care of the village, you know, that type of thing. Maybe, maybe they're self-reliant. Yes, it's too bad. Dried mushrooms from Iris are popular in Zilpaid. You will go after we we'll look into it. Yeah, sorry you raised such a bad crop. It must be raised by bad Moge, if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, we were underground doing some stuff, you know. The purpose is not to have a people raise us, is it? Strive for bigger things. Yeah, bigger is better. I think the cat food thing is, is uh, still the same. Yeah, it's the same as before, so. There we go, still. Sweet, uh, super sweet care produced. Oh yeah, that one girl was talking. One Moge, female Moge, was talking about that. Where's uh, where's uh, Moge? Where's Guido's uh, like niece? She kind of. We talked to her. She had a unique face plate, a, a portrait, and then she's gone. We can't even find her to talk to her. It's weird. Like, why give her a portrait if, if she's not even like have some some significance to the story? You could just made her not have a portrait. We would have been fine with it. So, huh. It's not a big deal, it's just one of those things you, you point out and you're like, that's odd. Well, yeah, uh, yes, well, it's uh, something bigger than work. At any rate, I rely on you when I'm gone. Yeah, I was about to say, they probably, it sounds like they're pretty self-reliant. They only probably only ask him for help on certain deals or really big decisions. So, and then they're like, okay, we need the, we need the elder for this question here. Question number one. Uh-oh. Ah, how could you do that? Of course it's a scatterbrain mistake. Anyone would have, would not have made that. You are a fool. Yeah, silly girl. Tricks are for kids. Yeah, I don't know how they did that in the first place. I guess maybe the power of water. You know. Because, I mean, this is a, this is an oasis in the middle of the desert. Has a long-running water. So, Oh, yeah, you got to turn back on the... Uh, Waterways there, Elder? No? Oh, I need to show you what. There's a glitch in the, uh, the, uh, um. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing really to do here. There's a glitch if you try to enter the, uh, Zildan, uh, Zypaden runes again. Or Paden, whatever. Anyway, let's, uh, before we leave. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the dialogue here, so. Verbal fights, huh? No, that's why I think about that. You probably didn't hear if I sneezed. A few left? Uh, it sounds like they were talking to town. They were even in the newspaper, apparently. I'm not a fan of carrots, to tell you the truth. I'll eat, I'll eat like uh, stewed carrots and just like swallow them type of thing, but I don't initially like the taste of carrots. The, those are delicious carrots being a hundred times joy. We enjoyed them very much. Okay. Yeah, she was she was pra she was praised for her good good deeds. Okay, I think that's it for that. All right, let's head on to the town of Lane and make our way to the Rainbow Mountain, which we have to go to Lane first to do that. There's a little bit of dialogue here. I think a couple of people say something about Guido, uh, but not too many. Three of those wise men should know the way to Lent. Okay, first let's go see what Darling can tell us. Oh, it's that one lady from before. Well, if you like old buzzards and snot-nosed kids, you'll like Kafu. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I I feel like Rap's gonna go back to his village at some point. What, me? Well, here? Well, if you ask me nicely, I might consider, but I gotta finish babysitting just. Yeah, our story's not quite over yet. We gotta find a lint and all that. Uh, I'm gonna get the, the picture. Lane is a little busy. I think I'm gonna come back later. You don't worry. Tell you why. Because I'm gonna bring something good for you. Moge honor. Honor? I mean, I'm not saying that the Moge are liars or anything like that. It's just, it's a little weird. I never saw them. It's honorable or whatever, so. Yeah. Tent, right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot he said that. Dent, right, that that's a funny jewel. Hey, everybody, like to change the pace once in a while. Am I right to just in? Yeah, let's have a good meal. Large portions? Oh, well, that actually makes sense for this town. Your men turn into bulls, and your women are huge. In a good way. 
Why it is such a beautiful village? And everyone's so nice, too. What a wonderful place. Say that again, and there's a lot of smart people here and hard workers, but I could do without the cold. But I think the Lenians would say Zilpaidon is too cold for them, don't you? To tell the truth, I used to think that these guys were in lane were kind of, well, dirty, you know? But once you come here, you know, and meet them, they ain't so bad. As a matter of fact, they're okay. And think about it, it was the people in our village that threw us out and won't let us back. Uh, Rap, it'll all be okay. They'll understand soon enough, just like you have. Yeah, it just takes uh, getting to know them. Yeah. I was surprised at the people in Zilpaden, but Darwin and the others are unbelievable, right, Guido? You were shocked at how they looked, but I never let that. But uh, don't let never let that bother me. I mean, you look a different from a me. You, uh, from a me. You got a different personality from a me too. Am I right? Well, of course, we have different personalities. I mean, no one is the same. Well, there you go. There's your answer. I like it here. Besides, Milda's here too. Let's stay a while. Stay a while and listen. I like Milda too. So. I guess you're right, Jess. Even a guy like me figured it out. And you're an idiot. No. That's it, Justin. Everyone's a different, so they look a different too, right? Aquino's right, you know. Uh, he's right. I don't know anything like Jess either, but we're buds. Appearances don't go. got nothing to do with nothing, Justin. I'm a surprise we even got to talk about this. Anyway, we got the things to do in Elaine, and I think our break time's over. Let's get to, to it. Alright. Yeah, I think that's it, so. Well, time to hit the A. Especially after our incident with the, uh, the, uh, you know, the Garlisle army and everything like that, so. Yeah, break, break, break of more pots while we're here, shall we? But yeah, with that all the way over, just gotta go to Lynch and see the, see the end of our journey, so, you know. Seems so long ago. Guido's going, what? This is a time, I'm sorry, but I didn't come on a regular business. Guido in lane two? Never would have guessed. He sure gets around. Yeah, he's, he traveled across, he got across the sea at one point, so. Huh? Us? Yeah, we're just bringing in everyone here. That's a what I always say. Yeah, don't be a stranger. Well, I would be a stranger, but that's because I like, I like my alone time. Thank you very much. All right, nope, no one's in here. I don't know why I went in there. No one's ever in there. Why is it even there in the first place? Why can we explore it? There's no point. That happens a lot in this game. There's quite a few things that are, like, not necessary. You know what I mean? Anyway. Buy snow? Well, I... That's a right. As usual, payment will be... Guido, you mean you came here on business. You can't believe this. Dear lady, I'm a sad tool. Come all the way to Lane and... Yeah. yeah. You broke his heart. You broke my heart. Well, I mean, we weren't gone that long, were we? Oh, right. Come of age. Get taken to the stockyards? Thanks, but no thanks. I think that might be the same report. Not everyone has to do dialogue, but... Break out laughing? Even with the horn? Uh-oh. He's become creepy, huh? Okay, that was the same. Huh, I've been to the oceans and deserts, but I'm sure I haven't been to the moon. Okay, so never mind, slightly different because of the moon part. Really? Kind of like what happened with uh, Dite, huh? Give me a break. Just lay off the rap eating talk, okay? Yeah, hey, huh. uh, uh, get it? Rap meat's the best, okay? Sorry, that's what he said, but... Okay, give the rap meat a rest, okay? There you go, sorry. Spirits do all this, huh? Well, just give spirits all the credit, huh? So the spirits are gonna make me a calf. Oh, you mean the animal rap. <laughs> it's kind of funny that that's a weird running joke in this place, is that the rap is called the same thing as their animals. I mean, it makes sense in real, the real life that there's a possibility that someone's word in one language is used in another language just means something different, because that would be too inc too convenient that everyone have different words for everything, you know what I mean? We just do it. We just make sure it's different just because to make it less confusing. But in this game, it's used as a joke. Druthers? Do all the do all the kids, uh, people name their uh, uh, the sons and uh, uh, D words or whatever? Maybe. Your parents are selfish, dude. 
Hey, kid, can I ask you a question? You were you weren't just swimming in the lake, were you? He's probably got the fur or hide to take care of. Uh, that wasn't exactly the problem. All types of snow, all together. I can think of fun things, but I'm not so sure about the cold part. Uh, whatever your heart's desire is, I guess. Yeah, we gotta talk to Dorland. Oh well. Yeah. Missed you? Uh, yeah, maybe, sort of. Well, if I went back to a village of warrior Amazonian, as Amazonian women, so I would come back on a regular basis, too. I mean, uh, for, you know, just because they're nice people. Yeah, that's it. Okay, never mind, they have the same thing. She had the same thing all the next time. How about you folks? Ice cream, huh? Oh, yeah, you talked about that before. What? You want to touch ice cream now? Is it because he's become a man now? Ah, uh, well, uh, thank you, but no. Oodles of ice cream. I like ice cream too, but at my age, I can't eat as much sweets as I used to. Yeah, what kind of stomachs do these people have anyway? I said no. <laughs> yep, it looks like the kids even evolved too. I like this village just because the children actually end up becoming, uh, start turning into adults like right before our eyes. I mean, he was even talking about his son getting older here, too. Yeah, all the little stories that just came up over the course of the game. I'm not saying all the stories are interesting, but the fact that it evolves over the course of the game, for the most part, depending on... This is like one of the few villages we can come back to on a regular basis in the game. And it's almost near the end of the game, too. Yeah, I would say this final part of the game is the, the time when the game... It continues on, but it doesn't do the whole we abandon a place completely. Sometimes we'll be able to go back like Zil Payton in this place. Ugh! Sorry, Justin. Suddenly my head hurts. Uh, oh, uh, is, is he talking philosophy? Stop, please. Yeah, it's because he's talking like philosophy and all this. And Rap's just like, ah, uh, my brain. I can't handle it. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. But yeah, the kid was had a had a cow head now at that point. So we'll talk to uh, Milda here in a second. Because we have to go there anyway soon. Yeah, it's better to go outside, at least when you're a kid, to burn out all that energy. Yeah, you are, old lady. They are ants. Oh, wait, that's something else. Oh. Well, you have to try, kid. Do or do not. There is no try. I wonder if that's a euphemism or something. Nah, probably not. Uh, I don't know. He sure doesn't resemble you. I don't know. Maybe he left the village at one point or something like that. Or maybe... Nah, never mind. I wonder, is the uh, is the gene to turn into that? Is that from the mother's side or father's side? And would that affect things if you like had a relationship outside of this tribe? You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just one of those things you think about. You know, when you're when you're bored and you're like, aw. A sweet man, huh? That's crazy when you think about it with how strong Milda is, and then you find out that probably her husband's stronger than her. And they're supposed to be strong, you know. Yeah, she is. She's got the, they seem like a lovey dovey couple, you know. Look, could you find another name for those animals? Rap eats raps. It just isn't pleasant. I'm sorry, man. You can't really change the culture like that all of a sudden. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. That's the same dialogue. So. Yeah. Milda being a tough, tough old lady. Actually, she's not even that old. She's like 17 or something like that in the game. Or not 17, but she's like 19 or something like that. I know, I know, but it still drives me nuts. Yeah, he keeps thinking he's talking to him. Uh, guess what his name is? It's Rap. Say hello to the Rap. I'm out of here. Yeah, you can domesticate all your Raps. I give up. Just go on. Tastes excellent. Ooh. Listen, bully boy. You better not be thinking about eating this Rap. <laughs> Try some Rap. Rap, Rap, Rap. I just like how it bothers rap so much. 
I feel like even though, weirdly enough, even though Rap joins our team and stays with us for quite a long time, I feel like we never truly, even if you talk to all these people and everything, we never truly get a sense of uh, a lot of things about Rap. You know what I mean, if that makes sense? Because he's relegated almost to a comedy character. Almost. Not quite, but... Like the comic relief of the game, overall. Because as soon as you get to him, he's usually the one who usually gets beat up or mocked or made fun of. And sometimes you need a character like that to lower the tension in a, in a game or a storyline. But, yeah, I feel like he was relegated to that, so we don't learn a whole lot about him. Uh, uh, well, when we learn Capu, we learn enough, I guess. But I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like uh, uh, like his story growth doesn't go much. Like, you know, not unlike Justin or Fina, even Sue got some major kind of story growth, even before she left, you know. 10,000 10, 10, times stronger? I guess it is like Super Saiyan form or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is before. four. Ah, oh, the kid's legend, the second kid is transformed, that one hasn't. Ah, oh, poor kid. All his friends have uh, become men, except for him. So you get to witness your, your fellow uh, children grow. Me? I don't think so. Yeah, Rap won't. He's not of this tribe, so not everyone turns into bulls. Yeah. Man, I would. I mean, yeah, I know it's a, it's a, a, their version of puberty, but man, this hits harder than actual puberty, I think. But I kind of like how he feels, or kind of feel like how he feels, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never come. <laughs> never, never. It's never gonna happen, dude. You're never gonna become of age. Nope, never. Yeah, he's pissed off that he's the only one who hasn't come to age yet, so... Alright, let's we'll see how Milda and Darlin are doing. Because we need to talk to him anyway, so... Justin, what are you doing here? Y'all look like cats working for the flood. Darlin, listen, I need your help. I see. And what do y'all want to do about it? Lente told me if you want the answers to, to, answers to many questions, come to Lent. Now I understand. I didn't when I began the journey, but now her words. There's something I must know. Not just something, so many things. Angelou grew to encompass the world. Why would such a civilization die? The Ikarians, the Spirit Stone, and Gaia? I must go to Lent. I will. It will all be clear in a Lent. All the answers. Oh, well, seems like the time has come. The time for you, the chosen one. The truth is, we ain't just scientists. Breeze the gatekeepers to Lent, Justin. Been led on, though. Not till you was ready, which is you is now, Justin. To what? Yes, I'll go. I'll go and find the answers. Good, it's Dorwood who goes the way to went. Y'all just be careful now, Justin boy. I will, and thank you, darling. All right, we're headed out. We don't want to say anything to Milda while we're here. I mean, we can. She's just not part of the dialogue, so. That's Dorwood, the way to Lent. Justin boy, y'all take care of now, you. Well, then, then, Justin, you must be happy. Y'all the one to go to Lent. Here's your chance. Yes, we almost made it. The adventures in the Lent. This ain't the end now, Justin boy. Y'all should be looking forward to what y'all be doing next, you hear? Yep. No, but remember another thing. Be sure to stop and look at your tracks to see if y'all on the right path. Okay, so if you... I should have shown this off, but if you come here before going into the... The... Uh, the ruins um milda talks to uh guido about joining the party and guido's like oh are you a jealous you know so i do apologize on that because uh that dialogue gets cut out if you uh, don't actually do it i actually kind of forgot i knew i was i wanted to do it but then i never did it maybe i'll maybe i'll add it into the uh, i'll find an old save file and uh i might find an old save file where i have it saved here and show it off before I go into the pattern runes. I think I do, actually, so. I won't do that now. I'll just tack it on to the end of the episode. Actually, uh, I'll tack it on uh, now. Well, hey, Justin. Where you been, boy? Who's that? No gay elder? Hey, hey, hey. What's the funny face? Is this some problem for you, Milda? To see Justin and me together? Well, I got the news for you, Milda. You are not the only ones that appreciate Justin's better points. Guido, y'all haven't changed a bit. Always blabbing on about something. Anyway, I do get your point. 
We'll slice up the big's half in it, but I have a feeling you could do you'll do fine, Justin. I can tell. Yeah, not much to it, but I thought it was interesting. All right, let's go see uh, Derwin, see if he has any dialogue. Hey, dude. Leaves the deep, uh, deep pack and root of oil. Hey, a Scooby Doo Wow. Add some saddle berry and a shake, shake, shake. Seems pretty busy. Let's go to Dorland's place. Looks like he's a uh, cookie or something like that. So, all right, dude. There, we'll talk to everyone else. So now we just have to talk to Dorland and get our way into the uh, Rainbow Mountain. Hey, dude. It's you! It's you! I remember you all well! Who are you, anyway? Uh, not again. <laughs> just kidding. Pleasant old today. Whatever you all come to ask me. Look, we finally obtained the key to Lent. The uh, key to... Another step closer to Lente? Good work, y'all. That's good work. Uh, Dorland, I want to go to Lent. There's something I must know. Um, hmm. I see the time has finally come. Old Darwin probably told y'all. We're also the gatekeepers for a Lent. Guess it's time to show you the way. First, throw the Medal of Knowledge in the beautiful spring behind the village. You'll see a rainbow. The rainbow in the spring will lead you to Lent. Then you'll find what you're looking for. To Rainbow Mountain and Rainbow Spring. Get a going to this place, a Lent. Thank you, Darwin. We're headed for a Lent. I'll open the Rainbow Mountain gate. Be sure to find the answer. And then, Lente, with my hands, I shall... What the heck are you going to do with your hands, old man? Creep. <laughs> no. Uh, the gate to Rainbow Mountain behind the village is already open. It's the gate on the banks of the lake. Forge on, young ones. Run the Rainbow Spring south of the lane onto the land. And then Lente with these hands. Yeah, you need to, you need to stop uh, messing with your hands if you know what I mean, dude. You survived? What? <laughs> the time has finally come. The time for the spirit stone to be one again. Father, how could you mean it? Don't revive this beast, I beg you. It's a bit late, isn't it? Besides, the revival of Gaia was the final objective of Operation Intrasil. Look upon him, Mullen. Gaia is bursting with joy. I can hear his voice. How he longs to gorge on the energy of the spirit stone. Looks like some type of bug. Father, don't you understand? Gaia cannot be tamed by human hands. You are repeating the tragic mistakes of the past. Can you not recall the soldiers and humanoids cursed by Gaia and turned to stone? Worms, mere feed for Gaia. Worms, how dare you? Father, if that is what you truly think, then all your talk of sacrifice and building an ideal world was nothing but lies. There is no ideal world without Gaia. He who does not does the will of Gaia shall be infinitely blessed, as I will be. <laughs> Out of my way, Mullen. I shall not now offer the last piece to the Spirit Stone. Mullen, you need a man up, dude. Hands on the aerial battleship Grandier escaped when she went down, except for General Ball. Reports from the battleship Lion Law decided to rescue the survivors painted a very grim picture. And yet, how could General Ball survive without a scratch? Dun, dun, dun. I'm afraid when I see General Ball, 
I cannot stop shaking. So, it's as I suspected. He must not get hold of the Spirit Stone. So there's like one more left or something like that? Well, that was an awkward uh, 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 spin off there. So. All right, off to the Rainbow Mountain. He said he was behind the village, didn't he? All you got to do is walk around the lake and you go to find it. What do you mean, like right here? Where you've been going to the whole time? Yeah, now it's open. Oh, so you didn't open it? It just happened via magic? Oh, okay. Really, monsters, you say? In every single area we go into, you don't say. Okay. I was just thinking, man, when any different dialogue went in. I don't think so. I didn't think there was anywhere, so. Okay. Yeah, I think most of it is the same. Actually, let's see if, uh, uh, yeah, put by the thing again. I'm surprised that Guido didn't have anything to say to, uh, uh, Danny, uh, like the, the, you know, wise men and stuff like that. All knew the way to lift was through the rainbow spring, but not that you needed the mental knowledge. Please tell me a little about it after you return to Cumberland. It'll help with my future research. No, yeah, I could do that, I guess. Why not? I usually talk to everyone anyway. You know, in this town. More than most people would do. Most people would either skim the dialogue or maybe talk to like one or two people or they go straight to the next location. So, uh, which it's fine. Not everyone has to do what I'm doing. I just like doing it differently. When the chosen one arrives to lit our work as three wise men will be finished. When you have reached the lit from the Rainbow Spring, then? Wait, so then you don't have to be wise men anymore? So, what will you do with your lives? Well, I guess just to live them, I guess. Well then, Justin, you must be happy. Y'all went well together to Lent. Here's your chance. We almost made it. The adventure ends. A Lent. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought she... I thought that was slightly different. Okay. Alright, it's just Darwin that says something something different between the, the two. Most everyone else doesn't say anything new, so... Well, alright then. Looks like the Rainbow Bridge is our destination to Lent itself. But the Rainbow Bridge will offer many crossings indeed to Lent. But not all people will make those crossings uh, along the way. But they'll show us a new location. Well, what they say they, they say at the end of the rainbow is a pot of gold. But you must lose something the way it is. But find out what we lose next time in the next episode of Grandia. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.